Well, we're well, back. Yeah, we're playing a different game, finally. You could say that we're in uncharted territory. Yeah, I've never played the, any of these games, and so, I really want to, so... Background, I've played all of them. Although, I haven't played this one since it came out, so... <laughs> the only thing I remember from this game is the ending, which I won't spoil. Okay. Um, so Thanasi's gonna be playing this one, because he hasn't played any of them. So now Fuller gets to yell at me for being bad at games. Yes. Because I'm, I'm more... Like, I've played, like, some shooters. i played, like, Resident Evil. I'm not into, like, Call of Duty or anything. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I've, um, I understand this is a Naughty Dog game. Naughty Dog are masters of their craft, mm -hmm. from what I understand. I don't know if they were masters when this came out. I, I, they from, were pretty good, but I don't know if they were quite on the same level they are now. From what I understand, from watching, like, Dunkey's video on this, um, like, the original Uncharted's kind of jank a bit, mm -hmm. but the remastered version improves a lot of it, okay. from what I understand, so... But yeah, let's jump into it. I I am continuous speedrun. Interesting. I, well, I like the fact that this exists. We're gonna um, go campaign. We're just gonna go campaign. <laughs> really? Normal? Okay. okay. I'm it, gonna go normal. It defaulted to easy. It defaulted to easy. It, it just, this, how did they know? <laughs> but uh, you know what? I'm a big boy. Uh huh. A really big boy. A really, a big, really boy. big boy. No, I'm just kidding. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with normal. Ooh, wait, it locks out brutal. Yeah. Uh, new game data. Yes. What is... What, okay. Oh. It's because it's interfacing with the PS5. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're playing this on the PS5. Even though it's a PS4 game, I think? This was a PS3 game, and yes, this is a PS4 The PS4 remaster. version of a PS3 game. Yeah. Ooh. But yeah, I know that this series is very much inspired by, like... Oh. By, like, um... Like, Indiana Jones, that kind of stuff, from what yeah. I understand. I don't know anything about this other than the main character's name is Drake. Yeah. Nathan Drake. Nathan Drake. Yeah, that's all I got. That's all, literally all I know. <laughs> that's about all you need to know. He's a treasure hunter man. Oh, I can... Off the coast of Panama where we just okay. recovered what we believe to be the coffin of legendary... I'll, I'll keep the subtitles on, why not? Francis Drake, who was buried at sea over four... Oh, man, they really nailed the uh, shaky cam. <laughs> mm-hmm. A handheld shaky cam. Are you sure you want to be defiling your ancestors' remains like that? Absolutely. <laughs> For a game that was on PS3, they've done a pretty good job yeah. making it look, uh... Like, you can tell it's an older game. It's been, it's been thoroughly remastered. Yeah, like, you can tell that, like, like they... You can tell that it's a re, it's a remastered version of an older game. Yeah. Um, but, uh, it doesn't look bad. Oh my god, he turned into sand and rocks. <laughs> Hold on, nothing. Oh, a box. Examine. Press A. Oh, what? <laughs> I'm just making... Uh, I was gonna I'm say, just wait, did I miss something? <laughs> <laughs> it turns to Resident Evil. Yeah. Uh, you devil. What is oh, it? Oh, man. Come on, hold it up. No, 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 no way. It's my Dear diary. <laughs> he opens up, Dear Diary. <laughs> I, I found so much treasure. I've hidden it somewhere, but I'm not going to tell anybody where. Mm -hmm. She mad. Sully, uh, we got some trouble. Hurry it up. Okay, okay. What's going on? Uh, pirates. 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 Yeah, it's like Pilates, but <laughs> with pirates. With, with more running. <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, man. Oh no, there they are! Uh, uh, shouldn't we call the authorities or something? I am the authority. I mean, you can call them, but I mean, they're not gonna get there before you Oh, we're here, oh, we're here illegally, are we? <laughs> what are we, Panamaniacs? <laughs> because we're Panamaniacs. God. Here we go. Ugh. All right, let's do it. It's gonna teach me how to shoot. How the hell they find it, us out? Wow, it just like every other video game. Yeah, I mean, oh, I lost him. Oh, I missed. You really want some oh, super missed. janky? Uh, <laughs> oh, I missed. Wow, I'm so you bad. Terrible I am with this. terrible at this. Oh, I gotta, oh, I gotta take cover. It's just only. Yeah. Uncharted, but every time you miss, the video speed goes faster. Oh man, this video's gonna be like 10 <laughs> seconds long then. 
Oh. Get him. Oh, wait, wait, I gotta hide behind something. Also, wait, wait, wait. Also, wait, 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 wait. Options. Controls. Thank you. Hmm. I'm very weird when it comes to that. Whenever I play games with Daryl, he's like, why do you keep doing that? <laughs> Help. <laughs> Uh. Oh, no, you don't. oh, wait, wait, wait. No, I can't do this. Because I did it because the, of the camera control. Yeah, but the gun control is... Oh, sorry, that's the... Uh, okay, camera, here we go. Camera is whooped, but gun is fine. Okay. Okay. You're going down, my friend. Also, I completely missed what the tutorial was saying. Go, you gotta pick up his bullets. There you go, triangle. This is a game where you do not want to run out of bullets. Also, ah, god damn it. What are you doing? Well, now it's just weird. <laughs> you were so needy. <laughs> For a brutal combo, I'm Ooh. down. Oh god, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die in this he'll game. Fine, he'll be fine. Let's go punch him. Let's go do a brutal combo. No, I'm just gonna shoot him. Yeah, easy. This is easy. Game for babies. Game for babies. This game's for babies. Does the tutorial. Game for babies. Give me. Sully, where are you? Sully, come on! This actually looks a lot better than I was expecting it to look. Although you can still see some jank in the, like, the animations. Yeah, yeah. Like, this is clearly, like, a PS3 game that's upscaled and remodeled a little bit. Oh god! No! Okay, that's not good. Is this one of those games where when you get hurt you can just duck and heal? Uh maybe. There's like no it's not like Resident Evil where you need a healing item. You don't actually have a health bar, so. Oh okay, up on the D oh, okay! Coming at you. Take him out. Oh he's he has some kind of metal plate. And yes, because uh, I stood around for a little bit and I healed, I guess. Oh, wait. What are you doing? Okay. Come on. Gotta get the camera. And then we'll just at the end when we're done. Oh my god, the boat has exploded. It exploded. What was that, Hog Wild? Cool to see, like, the last. I played Uncharted 4 not that long ago. With the water effects. And, uh. It actually has exactly the same feel as this game. Okay. It's cool that they haven't, like, lost, changed any of that. It's actually, like, right from the beginning. These games play like you're watching an action movie. Okay. Yeah, I understand that, um. Yeah, there's a lot of, like, action set pieces, you know, eyes. Oh, the train or whatever went off the cliff and you have to climb up it or something. I don't know. There's like stuff like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was pretty cool. Well? Well? Little present from Sir Francis. so you found the Opens it up. It's just, it was just his dad's like little black book kind of thing. Yeah. It's just, no, it's just names of girls and their numbers. Just like I said, Sully. You must have been onto something big. Yeah, well, let's just keep that between us. Thanks for the long Oh, he was onto something break. big, all right. Ooh. I think I've earned a look at that diary or when we land. They were? Who are we to judge? <laughs> so look, oh, man. But where's Crash Bandicoot? Oh, oh, they're on Insane Island from yeah. Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> Make sure to break all the crates, says Drake. Mm -hmm. this diary. Uh -huh, so this it is his diary. Look. Oh, well, you're right. It's like you played this before, something. Like... <laughs> yeah, like 12 years ago. <laughs> Has it been that long for you? Mm -hmm. Like, did you play like the original when it came out? I literally played it when it came out. Oh wow. On PS3. Oh. I, I want to see what this game used to look like before the remaster. <laughs> Man only interested in the climax. <laughs> Must be a real hit with the ladies. Never had any complaints. <laughs> he made the okay, same joke I made in the Rancid Evil. Just for but. you. So that's you in the future. That's, yeah. That's the. I could do worse. <laughs> I mean, I mean the only well. Goddamn Dorado. He could grow a mustache. Mm -hmm. big, all right. 
Does it say anything else? Then grow oh, mustache. So now you're interested, yeah. Huh? Yeah. You can attempt a mustache. No, it's blonde, but I can still grow it. <laughs> last page was torn out. Oh, the last page was torn out. That's the most important one. This is it. This is finally it. Yeah. This is finally it. And this will be my last adventure. I won't go on any more adventures after this yes, one. Yeah. Certainly not three more. Nope. It's safe. Is it four more? No, I guess the, if we count the Vita game. Did he? There was a there was one on Vita. I didn't play that. I don't think most people oh, did. Man. Most people didn't. Because no. most people didn't own a Vita. It was a shame, because the Vita was, uh, was a nice, sophisticated piece of hardware. Yeah. It's just that it was too expensive. When, I, when the Vita came out, I was like, oh, that's the PSP. It's, a, it's PSP 2. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> but, uh, but no, like, Sony didn't really support it very well, and it was too expensive. It had proprietary memory cards that cost, no. like, as much as the Vita itself. Typical Sony. Meanwhile, the 3DS came out, I was like, it comes with an SD card. Yeah. Two gigabytes. There you go. Here you go, for yeah. save files. That's all you need. And even then, the save files were on the cartridge. Hmm. The SD card was just for photos, because you could take pictures with the 3DS. Oh. That's weird. No, I don't you trust can take 3D that. photos. That's why we need to move fast. And they look terrible and because you could only it was like, look at them on your 3DS. <laughs> it was, yeah, you could only look at them on your 3DS and it was in like 240p. <laughs> Amazing technology. That's our we're leaving you. No girls allowed. No girls this, allowed. This is a boys club. This is a boys club. <laughs> you want to hang with the boys? Mm -hmm. I think that if that's who I think it is. El Dorado. I won't, I won't spoil oh, anything. Hold on. Okay, okay. Hold on, kid. I'm not as young as I used to be. I relate to that guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not as young as I used to be. Yeah, yeah. This game is freaking gorgeous. Yeah. This is like, um... <laughs> this is Naughty Dog. Like, the thing oh, is, is that, um... You know, us. when I play through, like, uh, the Bayonetta games, I think I talked about this in one of our other playthroughs, uh... One of our other Let's Plays. Mm -hmm. And, uh, the original Bayonetta is a fun time. Um, but it was also, like, a PS3 era game where everything was, like, kind of gray. Mm -hmm. And this is like, you know, yeah, I mean, they're in the forest, they're in the jungle. Gorgeous, yeah. But it's still like, like there's, um, yeah, it's, it's all green, it's not gray, it's not just gray and brown. Yeah. There's like something here. I mean, Naughty Dog is kind of known for pushing the limits of the hardware. And they do it with optimization so it actually looks good and it's not just... It's not just pinning the CPU because they didn't <laughs> optimize it. The, the, well, usually, usually devs um, like will always ask for more RAM for yeah. their hardware because yeah, rather than optimize it, they just ah, stick everything in RAM. Mm -hmm. You know, um, but uh, but yeah, like um, I don't know. I mean, well, you say that, but I mean, what's going on with some of these Naughty Dog ports to PC? That's PC. Yeah, but you think they'd be better off? is their bread and butter. You, you think if Naughty Dog actually did the ports themselves, it'd be. Pretty yeah. good. Well, but that's the problem is I don't think they are doing the ports themselves. No, I think they, yeah, there's there's companies out there, like video game companies out there, that only do ports. Mm -hmm. Like, that's all they do. Um, and, I don't know, you'd think that if that was all you did, you'd get pretty good at it. But to be fair, every game's different. The thing right. is, they're good at doing it quickly. Yeah, that's cheap. the thing. Right, it's all about, you know, it's all about money at the end of the day. Yeah. And then the fans come in and they mod the game on PC afterwards to make mm -hmm. it better. To make it actually work. <laughs> yeah, like it's, Ugh. I wonder how I wonder if companies actually factor that in, like when they're like, ah, the fans will fix it for us. Probably, you know. Like I'm a little cynical in that regard. I wouldn't surprise. It wouldn't surprise me. Like, well, that's the thing. Like, games are, are now getting released unfinished, straight yeah. up unfinished. And I wonder if, if it's because companies like they do the, um, like, like they they say to themselves, okay, how much is it gonna cost? Or how much money would we lose to delay the game another few months to fix these issues mm -hmm. versus releasing the game now and patching it later? Yeah. Because you know that even with these issues, the people are going to... Well, and it, it became a slow slide, right? Yeah. It was, well, it has a couple of bugs. Okay, we'll release it. We'll patch them. And then those, it has a few more bugs. Eh, that worked last time. Let's see how it goes. And then they just keep doing that until we reach a point where you have Cyberpunk and the game is completely broken on release. <laughs> Uh, okay, I have a feeling I'm supposed to climb up these things. I think but... this is a puzzle. This game has lots of puzzles. Yeah. Oh, this is a puzzle? Should I have been paying attention to what the characters are saying? Probably, yes. Oops. <laughs> well, just climb things and see what happens. Okay, so uh, the prompt came up, so I have to go this way, yeah, I guess. Don't worry, it's, this is a game for babies. There you go, jump across. This game is for babies, it's okay. <laughs> Whoa! I mean, even for PS3, that's Why a pretty good jump animation. He's, he's very ragdoll-y. Yeah. 
But he's still like. But he's got like. He's got like actual animations. He grabs onto the ledge and like pulls himself up. Like he doesn't. Ju- he, he doesn't have like the stiff jumping animation. Yeah. He's got like. Oh, okay. Fluid. And I can shimmy. I can shimmy. How do I? Okay. I can't hey, this. There's something funny about the ground down there. There is. Um. Sure. Is there? Right there. Are Wait, there? Is it like a? It's hollow. Yeah, he's gonna fall through. We gotta find a way to smash through this. Yeah. You gotta push a rock or something. What if I just jump? Oh, there's oh. the rock. <laughs> no. I was gonna say. I mean, no. Okay. I, you got this. Okay. Okay. You can do it. There you go. <laughs> I pushed the jump button at, like right after he left the ledge, and oh. he still jumped anyways. <laughs> Forgiving. That's like, there's actually a term for that in like game design. Like um, when you design a platformer, mm-hmm. um, you actually uh, it's better to give the player some leeway when it comes to jumping. Mm-hmm. So one of those I, again, I don't remember the technical term for it, but one of those things, one of those things is making it so that even when the player's off the platform for a very brief moment, you mm-hmm. still let the jump button input to let them jump. Yeah. Um, it makes the game feel a lot better, supposedly. Oh. You can tell this game was made in a different era because of how gigantic the button prompts are. Right. It's made for a much lower resolution. Well, there was a time like when PS3 and, uh, and Xbox 360 games were first coming out. I remember one of the biggest issues was that... Whoa, whoa. Whoa, was that the... Um, the font would be too small. Mm-hmm. If you played it on a widescreen TV, it was fine. But mm-hmm. most people didn't have widescreens yet. They had like their four x three setups. Um, so, oh sorry. <laughs> so like, um, so the text would just get really, really tiny. Um, so I think uh, some devs like compensated for this. Yeah. By making the prompts bigger, mm-hmm. so that even if you were playing in four x three mode, it wouldn't matter. Or like, yeah, on an older TV. What a warm and homey place. Like, it's actually the reason why Nintendo didn't go HD with the Wii. One was to keep costs down, but two, because they they told, um, you know, they, they, they told their investors, like, most people don't even own an HD TV in 2006. Yeah, that's true. So that's why they went with that. By the time the Wii U came out, everyone had an HD TV, because that's all you could buy now. Mm-hmm. Um, and then Nintendo learned a very valuable lesson, mm-hmm. which was that while everybody else had already figured out HD game development, they had to now learn how to do HD game development. And so they were like lagging behind, and the Wii U just had like no games because it was just taking forever for them to make games. And no third parties didn't pick up the slack because why would I make my hardcore game for my Nintendo console here? That has a crap GPU in comparison to a PS3 and a 360, by the way. Why don't you have sex with her? Why don't you dock her? <laughs> he did dock her. <laughs> he left her on the dock. <laughs> Men, am I right? <laughs> boys will be boys. Mm-hmm. Ugh. That's look at like look how beautiful this. Gotta punch this. You're in level two and it's like it's still gorgeous. Yeah, it's a it's a nice game. I like the use of lighting here, where I can actually see what I'm supposed to be like looking at. Mm-hmm. I have a feeling if I jump, I'm gonna fall down and die. Only one way to find out. You think I can make, it? Find a way you make it? Well, he says we gotta find a way across. There's no oh. way I'm gonna be able to jump oh. that. It says you can shoot at stuff. What are you shooting? Okay, here we go. What are we doing? The oh, the explosive down at the. There's an explosive right there. Oh, yeah, the barrel. Oops. <laughs> you can't see those people, but I'm, I'm, I'm going into the fetal position. You couldn't hit the side of a barn. I, I'm just, I'm just gonna, I'm just, you know what? I am gonna jump off. <laughs> I'm so bad at shooters, I'm so sorry. <laughs> wow. How do I miss a target that's not even moving? I don't want to hear any chatter from you the next time we play Resident Evil. <laughs> nah, you're still going to hear chatter from me. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, hello. Okay. Oh, I got a mash. Mash. Just like the TV show. I'm actually good at mashing. 
Like, um, I was I'm, playing a game... I'm just good at smashing. Here, let me do that. What? I'm just good at smashing. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, no, I was kind of confused as well. He's gonna oh. do it. Oh, he's gonna... Oh, because he's gonna somebody has to hold it. Yeah. Gotcha. I'll hold it open. See if you can jam it from the other gotcha. side. Gotcha. Oh, I'm gonna learn to push something, aren't I? Mm-hmm. Is it this? Hey. Yes. Okay. All right, let go. This ought to hold it. I understand. This wooden cart ought to hold this Party door something. that weighs like 30 tons. I mean... Oh, well, there you go. Oh, well, you're right. <laughs> I mean, it's realistic. <laughs> Let's hope this place has a back door, huh? You know, this looks familiar. I think there's something in Drake's journal about this. Am I going to be able to read his journal? Yes. Touchpad. Yeah, here it is. Looks like this thing is some kind of lamp or brazier. See if you can light it. So, after all your bitching about the cigar, now it's okay. in handy, huh? Light it, silly. Is that a, is that a wall of dicks? <laughs> what? Is that what I just saw? <laughs> wait, wait, let's see. Is it right? This? Right there, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me that's not a wall of dicks. That is 100% a wall of dicks. <laughs> Wow, look, at the, look at the balls here. Gotta nice little shaft. Up mystery. and down, up and down the shaft. This is the most manly man I've ever seen. This whole this whole game just reeks <laughs> of manliness. Anyways. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we lit the thing. Oh, the fire went up and over somewhere. This wood's pretty dry. I bet we could, burn, bet it. We could burn it. Oh, I probably have to shoot down the thing. There you go. Do I have to hit the chains? Or do I have yeah. to hit this leg? Nope. This? There you go. Okay, that's what I did. Oh, wait. And then it drops embers. There okay. you go. Nice. I, was gonna, I wasn't sure if, if, what, if they wanted me to like break the chains to make it fall or... Yeah. yeah. You might want to reload. How do I reload? What's Probably the button? Square. No, square is the punch. Circle? Circle makes me run and cower. Triangle? Triangle does nothing. X is jump. Or... It is R1. That's a weird reload button. Because I was pushing square because that's what it is in Resident Evil. Yeah. Well, in most games, most shooters, usually it's like square or circle to reload. Now what? Now you jump to your death. Okay. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Oh, I see. I gotta, like, Clamp. grab onto these things. Okay, here we go. Whee! Uh, Nate. <laughs> whoa. I might have been able to do that 30 years ago. Well? Oh, no! Well... <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh, what, did I? Wait, wait. Was I just like too slow? Was I supposed to jump? I think you're too slow. Yeah. Okay. So I just gotta keep going. Quick, quickly, quick, quickly. Quick, quick. I like how you know what? Whenever I look, uh, like I've seen like bits of gameplay footage of this before, mm -hmm. and it and I always thought that this was like slow, but no, it's quite snappy. Yeah. Uh, I like that. I like games that are snappy. I like snappiness. Um, make it snappy, Pappy. Like I was saying, or oh, I see. Boom, boom. Uh, I should probably step back for this one. <laughs> <laughs> let's uh, let's let's be smart about this. <laughs> Did you hit it this time? I think there's a ladder. Oops. <laughs> okay, I'm actually gonna hit it. There you go. Okay, I guess. That's so embarrassing. <laughs> But, uh, but yeah, like I was talking about button mashing earlier, because I've been playing through a series of games called uh, the, the Momodora games. Mm -hmm. 2D pixel art games. And uh, I played the third one on Steam, and um, it's one of those games where when you push the button to attack, you do a slash attack. Mm -hmm. And uh, how fast you can slash is how fast you can mash. Yeah. Um, there's like no, like, there's like no wind up, there's no wind down for the animations. Mm -hmm. You can just mash. And there's also an item in the game that increases your damage output by 400% if your health is low. Mm -hmm. So I went to the final boss, and I just walked up to the boss, just kept mashing the button, <laughs> and then the boss is, I'm just tanking the hits, and as soon as my health went low enough, the boss's life bar just went <laughs> just gone, <laughs> like a hot knife on butter. That's my kind of game. <laughs> just push X to win. We could play that game on this channel, the game's like an hour long. Hmm. In fact, if you speedrun it, you can do it in, like, less than 25 minutes. Which is what I did. <laughs> I beat the game in, like, 23 minutes. And it's funny because people were like, Oh, this game's hard to beat in, like, 
in, in that amount of time, how am I going to get the achievement, the speedrun achievement for this? And I'm like, mm. it's easy. Just buy this item that increases your damage output when your health is low Wait, and match. I recognize these symbols. <laughs> I recognize these symbols. The order of these signs has some importance. Okay, so, uh... Oh, one, gear... Two, weird gear with hole. A man with staff. Gear, Aztec man, spider, spider and mask. Rrr! <laughs> yeah. Gear, Aztec man, spider, rrr. Okay, so we got... There's the spider. Where's the, the gear? Gear. So I have to, like... Eh. Eh. I don't know. Okay, um, let's see what else we gotta do here. Try just, like, standing on them in order. Like, just do it in order? Yeah. So, gear. Oh, that's a spider. Need Aztec man. Need Aztec man. Um, uh, which one is this? Oh, that's the er. Gear. Aztec man. Spider. Spider. And then er. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing happened. Nothing happened, okay. I, that's why I'm like, I feel like I have to push these things down, but I don't know how to do that. Is there a rock or something you can push? Like, that's why I was like, eh, eh, come on, come on. Do you hit the thing, does that just bring up the page again? Yeah. Just to remind you. Sully, help me. He's not gonna Sully, help <laughs> I told you to help me. I can't do that, Dave. If I shoot him. You try. This is not you. No, well, let me do it. <laughs> uh, um, like, am I missing something here? Like, I feel like I'm like like it's clearly a button. Up, what's up there? Go. Oh. Find that? Yeah, there you go. Okay, there we go. There we go. Yeah, there you go. Okay, we got the gear. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. I thought those were the buttons. We were looking at the wrong buttons. <laughs> okay, so I gotta shimmy on this. Alright, here we go. Yes, Not man. this one. Oops. Oh. I pushed the wrong button. Yeah, alright. Um, can I continue to climb all the way around, or can I... I must be able to. Oh, I bet... I, I see. I see. I, I get the idea. So I go up here. Okay, one of these has... Oh, there you go. I feel like... Well, it's got skulls on it, which is a little concerning, but that's okay. Damn, he's got some strength if he can jump that high from there. Oh, yeah, he goes bouldering every Thursday. Okay, so that's not the right one. I gotta go to this one. Okay, got it. I understand this game for babies now. Yes. Yeah, I know people are saying, oh, yeah, you know, when I was raising my kid, you know, when he was five years old, I just mm -hmm. made him play mm -hmm. Uncharted. Not quite. <laughs> uh, not, I can't quite make that. Okay, we'll go up this way. My my kid's first words were Nathan Drake. <laughs> That's weird. My kid's first words were Sully. <laughs> yeah. Just a little baby going, da, 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 climax. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you learn that word? Nathan Drake from Sally. The, the Drake's fortune. Drake Fuffin. <laughs> oh, I can jump on these. Shortcut? Still no, not a shortcut. Not high enough. <laughs> not high enough. Alright, alright. Why can't he jump like Super Mario? That's a different franchise. Wahoo! Wrong game. It's a me, Nathan Drake. Yahoo! Whoa! <laughs> I'm tired. Whoa. I'm just gonna have a nap. Luigi! Look. My name's Sully. Luigi! <laughs> now, Sully, ever Whoa. since Drake hit his head on that rock, he's never been the same. <laughs> insisted he could make the jump. He just he couldn't quite do it. <laughs> oh, I get to dive in, do I? Yeah, looks like there's a ladder cut into the side. Wait here while I check it out. <laughs> Maybe don't jump into it. Oh, I, I saw the water Speak below here. and I was like, oh, do, do they expect you to dive into it? Mm -hmm. I mean, they always do in like, in media, right? They always jump like super high up into like water. Mm -hmm. And 
but like at a certain height, water is basically the same as concrete. Oh yeah, it's super dangerous to do that. Like it will, it, like you will, you will break your bones. Yeah. Like yeah. if you hit it just right, you can still survive. Yeah, you can like, like you gotta like. Part, you gotta go feet first. Hey, you gotta like, and you gotta do it in a way where you like kind of part the water as best as you can, because otherwise that surface tension is gonna kill you. Yeah, feet first. <laughs> you want to be slippery as possible. Yeah. Push. It's got a track. Okay. I'm holding. I'm holding. <gasps> oh, they made the, they put a little skeleton. The skeleton. Yeah. The little skulls okay. there. Getting and they make little jangly noises. Oh, how nice! Jingly, jingly, jangly, jangly, the jingly, jangly from from the skulls. <laughs> they have a sense of occasion. <laughs> oh, don't tell me you're gonna swim in that. Yes. I've been in yeah. worse. Huh. Uh, <laughs> smack. Oh, I just smack into the rock. <laughs> Dead. It's a good thing we're playing a video game. Yeah. Do a shot every time he would die in real life. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. That sort of like flute. Or whatever it's called. That yeah. instrument called. That's a flute, sure. Is it a flute? Really yeah. There's another name I think there's an actual name for it. Yeah, it's a flute. <laughs> okay, we'll go with that. <laughs> Uncharted, Nathan's flute. Uncharted, the musical. <laughs> Alright, here we go. God, my dad so it was my dad's birthday last week. Yeah. And my house, whenever it's someone's birthday, they you do, you do musical. No, they get con <laughs> they get control of the remote. We watch whatever they want. Um, my dad's a big Star Trek freak, so of course we're watching Star Trek. And he wanted to watch the newer. I think it's called Discovery. Oh, Discovery. Um, which I hadn't seen before. It was all right. Um, but then the the first episode we watched was all right. The second episode we watched was a musical. <laughs> Sweet Jesus, I wanted to die by the end of it. <laughs> I hear Discovery's not great. It was alright. It might not have been Discovery, I can't remember what it was called, but... It was, yeah, the first one, the first one I didn't mind, it was okay. Um, and then, yeah, that musical, oh boy. They encounter some kind of, like, safe. subspace disturbance, and every time somebody gets worked up about something, they start singing. <laughs> It's so stupid, okay, okay, okay. and it's just so much singing. Uh oh! Uh oh! <laughs> uh -oh. Run! Oh my god, this is exciting! Stuff's falling all this, over. This place. is giving me Crash Bandicoot vibes. Kind of, like like high res Crash because, Bandicoot. Because he's like running like towards the camera. Yeah. Can you go back? <laughs> I made it! I'm okay. Oh yeah, he he has a way to cross. Sully magically survived. Well, I, I think Sully wow, got like off the platform and back. After that, he we magically be... survived. Okay. <laughs> Did you see the Uncharted movie? No. It's okay. Eh. I never like it. I never played the games, and mm -hmm. there was just no appeal for me. The movie is a like. Why would I play? Why would I watch the movie when the game is basically a movie? <laughs> but go true. on, go on. It's true. The, 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 the movie is their casting choices are terrible. Um, yeah, Tom Holland is Nathan Drake. Tom Holland Drake. is Nathan Drake, and then Marky Mark as Sully is just the weirdest casting choice I've ever seen. It's clear that they just got the biggest name celebrities that they get, and just said screw it to what the, whether or not they match the characters. I, I wonder, <laughs> yeah, just get people who are popular, and you get somebody young, so that way if you franchise it, you can have them for longer. Them, yeah. You have them for longer, right? And it was, if you ignore the fact that they look and sound nothing like the characters, from the game, the yeah. The movie's okay. Okay, it's got some like cool action pieces. I mean, it's, it's a lot of the same set pieces that are in the game. Yeah, and it's like it's not going to blow you away or anything. Okay, it's a fun time. If there's nothing else to see, I don't know. Video game movies have always, you know, they they have a bad track record. Let's put it that way. I will say it's one of the best video game movies I've seen. That's not saying much. It's, a, it's admittedly a very low bar. It's it's a very yeah. I was gonna say because like. Ooh, there's a shiny. On mm -hmm. the right. On the right? On the See? right? On the left. Left, on the left. left. On the cube. Yeah. What? Go that way. There's a shiny? Right there, in the corner. In the corner? Left. Left. See it? Left. What are you talking about? No, go left. I can't. Straight I... ahead. Straight ahead. Oh, that. <laughs> I'm like, what the heck are you talking about? <laughs> you got a golden Inca cup. Great. What am I supposed to... 
I guess I can. I think it's just a random collectible. Now, now I'm playing Resident Evil. <laughs> These games have uh, collectibles. I don't think they actually do anything. Oh, it's just it's just things for you to collect. It's just things on okay. I think it, that's their how they. Add you don't them. need to collect all of them to get the final boss fight with no. uh, with Cortex. No. <laughs> <laughs> That would be well, amazing. Well, well, if it isn't Nathan Drake. <laughs> Cortex. Cortex is the final boss. <laughs> I I may not be able to deal with the bandicoot, but I can certainly deal with you. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's how I ended. <laughs> <laughs> Getting right. lost, are we, Nathan Drake? Now you just sound like Vex. Ooh, well. <laughs> <laughs> right, what we got? What do we got? Follow the trail of... Whatever that is. Hey, we're going. We're exploring. Nick, we found outside. Why is the shadow so weird? Huh. <laughs> the we shadows are kind of weird. They hadn't invented ray tracing yet, so. <laughs> yeah. The Spaniards must have made themselves a shortcut to get the treasure. Right. Well, we didn't find the thing that his dad was looking for. But no. we did get a gold Inca cup. We did. We I'm can... going to drink my beer out of it. <laughs> Maybe wash it first. Wait, Sully, do you hear that? Nah. The alcohol will deal with that. Beer's like 5% alcohol. That's not going to kill anything. Okay, well, let's go with, uh... Moonshine. Okay. A submarine? With or without methanol? Well... I'm just going to... I'm just going to tell the bartender to surprise me. <laughs> they just keep methanol in the back for people who want to blind themselves? Yeah. <laughs> Hey, I'd like the moonshine. Legal or illegal? Let's check it out, huh? <laughs> Isn't it always illegal? Something about this Shit. Is <laughs> I think, isn't that the definition of moonshine? Is that it's illegal? Yeah. Being serious, Nate. What's legal moonshine look like? Well, you gotta make it yourself. That's just vodka. <laughs> I, just, I just give you the pieces and you have to make it yourself. The pieces are illegal. Putting them together is illegal. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm just looking up how long this game is. Looks like I'm gonna have to do this the hard way. I'm gonna guess ten hours. Um, what does it, what does it say on how long? Around to be? eight hours. Okay, I overestimated. Well, for me, I mean, you've seen how good of a shot I am, so it's gonna take me ten it hours. Might take you a little longer, yeah. Okay, so I see. Oh, I can't grab onto this. Okay, now this is very rusty, so don't uh, don't cut yourself on any of this. Hope he's got a tetanus shot. I just go. You I swim? Go. I just run. Oh, look at that. Can right, you dive? Go. Can I dive? I don't know. No. Oh, but I know how to... I now know how to switch weapons. With the D-pad, like every other game. Yeah. Who to think? Okay, let's, let's go. Let's find the, there's always something behind the waterfall. There's always something behind a waterfall in video games. Upsy daisy. Thank you, camera. Oh. <laughs> like you do that way. You know, I do appreciate when games do that. Yeah. They're like, look over here, idiot. <laughs> You're, you don't watch Survivor, do you? Uh, I used to, like, long time ago. They do that a lot with the hidden immunity idols. Because people will be just be, like, searching for it, and the camera will be, like, on them searching for it, and then they'll just be, like, pan over, and the thing's, like, right there in the tree. Like, they're kind of egging them on a little bit, like, hey. I've always, like, said, like, if I ever go on that show, I'm just going to watch the cameraman. <laughs> because they're, they're always, like, pointing the camera right at the thing. And the people are just like, oh, God, I just can't find it. I feel like you'd do well if you were on Survivor. I feel like you, you're, like, such an avid watcher that you'd probably... I would do well if I did it, like, maybe eight years ago. Before I had wicked allergies to everything. Uh. <laughs> that would be the thing that kills me. And I'd have to like bring lots of sunscreen or I would just die of melanoma. Wait a second. Did they hide something over here? Maybe. I've played a game or two before. <gasps> There's... Shiny! Shinies! Oh, look at that guy! You got a gold Tyrona pendant. I got I got one out of thirty treasures so far, mm -hmm. percentage wise. 
Okay. Careful. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, is he gonna automatically grab her, or am I just gonna fall off like an idiot? Here we go. Hey, watch yourself up there. It's a long way down. Yeah, nope. I noticed. No kidding. Whee. I'm going exploring. These games make me just want to go on vacation. <laughs> I want to go on an adventure, man. I just want to, like, go to... I don't know. What's the place that has nice waterfalls? Peru? Uh, Niagara Falls? Does Peru... Does Peru? No, no. I want, like, a jungle waterfall. <laughs> oh, I see. Um, I'm sure probably places in, like, Africa or whatever. Peru's closer. You, if you go to Africa, though, you gotta have, like, what, ten shots? I feel like Africa's got more political instability. Peru's probably safer. Well, you don't have to join the civil war. No, but you can. <laughs> <laughs> if you're there, you're taking a risk of something happening. Good job. No! I Good thought you were grab the ledge! Good job. Nathan, you bonehead. You chowda head. Why didn't you grab the ledge? <laughs> I feel like the Andes Mountains would have some pretty good waterfalls. Uh, you can go to Banff. Banff had some pretty nice waterfalls. Yeah, but I've been there before. Yeah. You can go again. Get some beaver tails while you're there. Oh, I do like beaver tails. Beaver tails are delicious. Oh, I could just... Oh, I could just press circle to do that. <laughs> Whoa. That was, <laughs> I was gonna say, I can't see where I'm going. <laughs> that was a risky jump. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you're, you're, uh... I'm playing with fire here. You're playing with fire. Nate, you should be able to drop right down into the U-boat from there. Ah, there we okay. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Did they say what country they're in? I can't remember. Is there a run button? I don't know. Nate, when was your last ah, there it is. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. Ah. Drake doesn't believe in shots. Nope. Okay. He thinks I'm tetanus in. shots cause autism. Something nasty happened to these guys. <laughs> Don't open that can of worms. Let's not, let's not go there. And soup. What? I'm going there. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Get your shots. Vaccinate your goddamn kids. <laughs> the freaking measles are spreading in in Europe because people won't vaccinate their goddamn kids. <laughs> I blame Karen. I... <laughs> I blame humanity, in general. Tyrion's fault. Ugh. I don't know. I don't know what pisses me off more: anti-vaxxers or people or actual flat earthers. Ooh, I feel like flat earthers is worse. Like I've seen what the arguments are for the flat like, earth theory. Anti-vaxxer, there's like there's all kinds of like misinformation that you could like latch onto. The flat earth is just so willfully stupid. Well, it doesn't even like, <laughs> like I've seen videos online where it's like we're going through all the arguments of flat earthers to disprove them, mm. and I'm just like, you don't need to do that. Yeah. I can come up with one argument right off the bat that disproves everything. Yeah. Time zones. Yeah. How do we have time zones if the Earth is? Or how flat? about the fact that it's light on one side of the Earth and dark on that's the other I mean. side? That's what I mean. That's like how do we have time zones if the Earth is flat? Yeah. If the Earth were flat, we would all see the sun rise and set at the same time. Yeah. So how does that work? Yeah. Even if you even if you made the argument that the Earth is a plate that rotates upon an axis, it still doesn't make any sense. It still doesn't make any sense. Yeah. It still doesn't change. It still doesn't change anything. Yeah. Like you don't have to get into like people are going to the song and dance of like because there's like arguments about um, well. When you look at flight paths on a round Earth, it doesn't make sense the way they're going because there's no direct flights between uh, between what was it like um, Australia and like South America. First of all, there are. There's not many. Not, there's, there's like not many because nobody goes there. Cause yeah, because nobody, nobody goes there. Because <laughs> because everyone's like, well, they always go to America first and then there. I'm like, well, yeah, because that's where the business is. Yeah. <laughs> like you, you know, there's there's a there's a they don't just go to places because they exist. <laughs> yeah, they have you know like. They, they have a flight that goes from Australia to the U.S. Yeah. Because that's what most people are going to do. And then they have one from the U.S. to yeah. South America. Because, that's again, that's what most people are going to do. Because all the people who are going... Like, most of the people who are going to go to, like, Argentina are going to be people who are from Argentina. Or, right. like, have family that have moved, moved elsewhere. Right. And where are those people going to move? They're going to move to North America. Yes. <laughs> They're not going to move to Australia because that's the other side of the world. But, if, but, if, but the thing is that... Uh, the thing is, is that there are... People have seen direct flights from mm -hmm. Australia mm -hmm. to uh, South America. Like, there's like one, maybe two. Maybe, yeah. Maybe two. 
but they do exist. But they're just, but yeah, they're not. They, there's not a ton of them because they're not. They're not not there's, doing there's, it because they can't. They're not doing it because nobody wants to do it. Because there's not enough. It, 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 there's just there's no business. Yeah, there's no business. There's not enough business to justify it. Yeah. But people are like, oh, but if I plot uh, from here to America to there on a flat Earth uh, drawing, then it's a direct line, and it makes sense. It's like no, it's. But no, <laughs> it doesn't make any. No, it doesn't make any sense. And it's funny because there's videos of people like, who are like, "Where well, I'm on to something." Look, see, I'm looking up the flights, and oh, there's two direct flights between those two places. Well, I'm pretty sure those are fake. Those are just fake. They're, <laughs> They're made plants. up. They're just made up to for for people like me to to fool us. And it's like, but what? Gotcha. But like, why why would people? Sully. Like, what's the conspiracy here, bro? Right. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, we're trying to, they're trying to make everybody think the world is round. To what end? Yeah, like, to what end? Yeah, like, why would you even lie about that? What is like, the point? Like, what's, what's, what's the point? Are you just saying that people are stubborn? And they name, just... I would challenge these flat earthers to name one benefit of lying about this to people. It's power and control. You know, they're to just controlling end? us. Why? Yeah, to what end, right? <laughs> But even then, like, but again, you can put all of those things aside about the flight plans and all that. It doesn't matter. Like, we can argue about every little thing that they're talking about. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter. Because you can just say one thing, time zones, yeah. the end. The end. The, the only reason we have time zones is because the Earth is curved. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> right. these people don't understand geometry. And they also don't know what logic is. No, it's just a theory, like <laughs> geography. Yeah. Like probably one Geography of is just a theory. That's just that's one of my favorite lines from Friends. I'm gonna put that on a, on a T-shirt. <laughs> that's a line from Friends. Is where, that, um, is that where, Joey? Where yeah, it's Joey. He he. It's an episode of Friends where. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> I like how we were both like. Um, get it in the tube. Get it in the tube. I'm going to the tube. <laughs> you get in the tube. Okay, that works. I like how we're casually talking and that happens. <laughs> what but I like how we both are <laughs> yeah. like. Uh oh. Okay, <laughs> but yeah, there's an episode of Friends where. Um, where, uh, oh, what was it? Like Chandler's oh. dating somebody who's in the same like, uh, who's in the same show as as Joey, um, and Joey was no, no, sorry, she's not in the same show as Joey. She's in. She, yeah, I'm. I'm getting my details mixed up. Who the hell is this guy? That guy. Steve McGee. Put your hands up. John McClane. Yeah, it's John McClane. It's John McClane. Uh oh, he got really British. Sully owns money. So when you told me that you two were onto something. This is very Raiders of the Lost Ark. Yeah. <laughs> look, look, I can't give you the treasure because I don't have it, but I can give you this gold Inca cup. <laughs> but not the medallion, that one's mine. Yeah, that's mine. <laughs> but yeah, there's an episode of Friends where, um, yeah, yeah, sorry, Chandler's dating a woman who's in a stage play. And Joey tells him that he has this theory where if the two people on the stage don't have chemistry it's because they're banging each other off stage mm. and if they do have chemistry on stage they're not banging each other okay. off stage and uh chandler watches her show and her and the other guy that she's with he says that the oh they had no chemistry none they're totally banging on the side <laughs> <He's> like, <gasps> right like and so like he tells this to the girl and she's like what now wait you're accusing me of cheating and you're accusing me of being a terrible actor mm -hmm. but um but joey like, Chandler talks to Joey about it afterwards, and uh, Joey's like, what? Dude, it was just a theory. Like, geography. <laughs> and Chandler's like, oh my god! <laughs> and he runs off to correct his mistake. I legit want to put that on a t-shirt. Geography is just a theory. Geography is just a theory. Roman, how dare you? What? You can't shoot Sully. He's in the next game. Is he? Yeah. Spoiler. He's in all the games. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, that thing. <laughs> I forgot. Well, that took a long time to blow up. Yeah, it took, it took a while. I, I don't we know had long. some time to get out of there. We could have definitely taken the more leisurely route. <laughs> Sully, no! I guess we have to rescue Sully in this game at some point. I guess. Oh, we're oh, oh! Now it's Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, I better leap off of this. <laughs> Ow! Run, run! Damn, that's pretty good. All right. I just pushed the button. <laughs> he did. did all the work. Uh, <laughs> I thought that was you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, put the mocap on me. <laughs> Whoa there, cowboy. How did she get here? Uh, wow. That's relieving me at the dock. What the hell are you doing here? Listen, I'm a good enough reporter to follow a couple of no luck tomb robbers. 
Ooh, sexy. Mm -hmm. Smoochy smooch. She's like, you stink. Down to one <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 100% he does. <laughs> next if we don't get out of here. Oh, God, I'm, I'm sorry. You, you smell like rust. Like <laughs> <laughs> Why do you smell like tetanus? <laughs> Get him, get him, get him. Power right in the kisser. Huh. I shot you in the head. <laughs> you are it's like Resident Evil. You gotta get like six or seven headshots in there oh before they actually They die. have a legion of zombies. Ooh. Get him. Get this. Oh my god, I don't. I, I know aiming is your worst enemy. I missed all of my <laughs> shots. <laughs> Maybe we should have done easy. <laughs> no! <laughs> My pride as a gamer! Is he not coming back? Come Here, Mr. Bad Guy. Where'd you get him? Here, let me just take some ammo. Let me just grab some of these. Oh, you're full. See there? Maybe you got him. You always seem to be getting shot at. Yeah. My thing. You too, I'm you still, know. There. still there. Wow. You hit a leg? Got him. <gasps> there you go. Oh, all right. Now we're cooking with gas. Ooh, tricky. You can. I think you can shoot over the ledge. Can I? Yeah. I see that. Oh. No, you don't. Get him. Got him. Beauty. Yank. I see them. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> ah, ah. Okay. We've lost the game of hide and seek. Okay, he's dead now. Where is he? He's over there. Where's the other guy? Oh, there he is. In the dick. <laughs> yeah, I played through um, all the Mass Effect games because that also has like shooting gameplay to it. And, um, I played through with my friends, and they they actually <laughs> noticed that when I play shooters, mm -hmm. I don't know why. But I always aim for the dick. <laughs> just I'm not even doing it on purpose. It just I just so happen to have the just center of the target. Just that's that's just where the reticle goes. <laughs> and then there was a point in in, the, uh, in Mass Effect where there was like a turret, and then I shot at the turret, and then and then my friend's like, wait, 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 wait. Did you happen to just shoot this part of the turret where there would be a dick <laughs> if it had one, like the above just above the legs of the turret? Yeah. You know, I used to do. Uh, a lot of mountain biking, and one of the things better I have something to do with dicks, or I swear to God. One of the things I learned in mountain biking is when you're like, you're going down a path, you got to look where you want to go. Right. Right. If you look at the tree, you're going to run into the tree. Yes. So you got to look at the path. Makes sense. Which means if you're shooting dicks. <laughs> oh, hey, I'm a sharpshooter. What, what can I say? What are you looking at? <laughs> what can I say? I'm a sharpshooter. <laughs> oh, these would be great for cover. Yeah. Good thing there's, well, there's no enemies here. You can still hide. There's nobody around. There's never a bad time to hide. Oh, ah! I mean, you asked oh, yeah? yeah. <laughs> Do your brutal combo. Got him. Ooh, brutal I'm combo. Dying. They drop more ammo. See, part of my problem is that he, like, pulls out the gun and it's, like, facing the floor. Yeah. I have to, like, pan it up. You gotta compensate. You're almost dead. The world's gone black and white. Yeah, but it's a new game, so if I wait long enough... Ah, now you're okay. Uh, modern gaming. Made for babies. <laughs> like, I guess it helps if I... Yeah, I have... Oh, well, she did all the work. Okay. Game for babies. And... And, and you. And me. <laughs> but I'm a baby. No. Okay, here we go. No, no, these games are just more accessible. They're not for babies, they're accessible. Uh. Whoa! <laughs> Maybe you should put on the hard difficulty and then tell me. <laughs> tell me how you feel about no, that. No, no, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to prove how much of an alpha gamer I am. <laughs> I'm so manly, I play it on easy mode, and I don't even care. Never a dull moment, huh? I mean, some games, like, I think it was a Doom, calls around. easy mode, like, baby mode. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I can't. 
The only time I've ever put a game on easy mode that I can remember was, that, ladder there. was actually Hogwarts Legacy. You put it on easy? Uh, only in specific at the end of the game. Like, after the end of the game, I, w I'm, I had gotten almost everything, but there's four trophies that are... You need to get okay. you need to get to a certain part of the game as each one of the houses, and which basically means you have to go through the entire tutorial of the game four times, uh, which is really annoying. So when I after I did the, my first playthrough, I was like, well, I'm doing the rest of them on easy mode so that I can just breeze through this and get the trophy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting better. Hey, you only missed one of those ones. Yeah. Well. <laughs> <laughs> totally getting better. <laughs> I'm getting better. Jumps right off the edge. Just <laughs> to go down the thing. Oh yeah, the thing that I blew up. Yeah. <laughs> There's literally a bridge there for you. Okay. What is this? Okay, I can't hit him. <laughs> I was like, watch this, I'm gonna snipe him from here. <laughs> With your pistol. With my pistol. My sniper pistol. Drink. Yeah. You rang? Drink. I used to make people so mad at that. With, uh... When I was a 12-year-old playing Call of Duty online. What? I used to just, like... Camp in a high spot. <laughs> and just snipe no, you're people. You're one of those people. Stay with me. Yeah. I mean, I was 12. And this was... Wow, he can roll up the stairs. What a guy. For the younger gamers, this was when online play was free. And you didn't need a PlayStation Plus account. It I mean... came with the game. I mean... <laughs> I mean, PC gaming. Yeah. But I mean, on console. It hasn't been a thing for a long time. Wait. What are you talking about? I thought uh, you always had to pay for... Nope. Online. PS3 online was free. Oh, that's right. Microsoft made you pay for online. Yeah, and then uh, and then Sony followed suit. Yeah, with yeah, PS4. And then way. Nintendo followed suit. Yeah. Except with Nintendo, they gave you the same crappy service. Now you're just paying for it. I think in the beginning there was just not there was so few people actually playing online that it wasn't really worth it for them to set up a whole service. Yeah. And then when it started becoming more popular, they were like, "Oh, this is actually costing us money." to run these servers. I, I get that, <laughs> but like, I don't know. I mean, I play games on PC that have online. And I don't have to pay extra for that. That's true. So why do I have to pay extra for the console? I don't know. I, 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 call <laughs> I don't BS. have a good answer for that. <laughs> I, I call BS. Oh no, they killed Sully? Is that what he said? He, he said they killed Sully. They killed Sully. Is this, uh, is this a fork in the timeline? Are we part of the Nathan Drake multiverse here? Yep. Every time you play this game, it's something different happens. <laughs> That'd be interesting. The game itself is actually just a, uh, an AI model, and it just rewrites the game every time you play it. Yeah, I kind of find it weird that they literally modeled every individual tooth in their mouth. <laughs> it's called graphics. It's just weird to me. Because the graphics aren't good enough. Would you rather it be like Sonic? It's just like a, a white bar in their the, mouth. The, the, the graphics just don't seem good enough to justify the detail. So I think it would look pretty freaking weird if they didn't do that. It's <laughs> distracting. See, there's no, uh, there's no dicks in this scene, so thanks for looking at the teeth now. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! What the heck? This is so not cool. Oh yeah, this is so not cool. So not cool. Whoa! You bet we're on fire. Hell yeah! Well, men will look at this and just say, hell yeah. <laughs> Whoa! I hope these things still work. We'll find out in a second. Uh, Have you ever done this before? Well, of course. <laughs> you just jump, count to five, and pull the cord. Yeah. Now, how hard is that? Yeah. I mean, if you're at that low altitude, I would probably skip the counting to five part. Wow. <laughs> This is fun. This is enjoyable. 
Things are happening. I like I like I like story where things happen. Yeah. Lots of bright colors keeps your attention. Yeah. <laughs> the freaking picture on his. <laughs> That wasn't a five. She can't have to five real fast. What's it three for five? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. Get off that plane, Nathan. Okay, what buttons do I? Uh, they're gonna tell me to push buttons, aren't oh, yeah. they? The quick time event is coming soon. Uh, this is, a, this is an old, old game where if you mess up the quick time event, you're fucked. Mm -hmm. Oh, he did. What the fuck? You didn't even have to do anything. Oh no, there's a hole in it! Damn it, I didn't even push anything mm. and I still failed. Yep. Ah! Oh, shit. I had to box him, anyways. Come here, I'll fight you. <laughs> Alright, back to adventure. Oh, he's got the little pirate symbol on his belt. I like that. <laughs> well, 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 well. Look, smoke. We'll go there. All right. Strangers trying to kill but we'll me. go there the next time. The yeah, next time. Um, I will say, as first impressions go, mm -hmm. uh, I'm really liking it's this one. These games are great. Yeah, this is a lot of fun. Um, I wish I was better at it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, perhaps in time, I will become a, a straight shooter. I will continue to make fun of you in two weeks when uh, episode two airs. Yes. Goodbye. Got him.